Okay, now we learn something more about Holy Eucharist. At 3 o'clock, you will go up to the chapel, to the main building, and you will attend the Mass, the Holy Eucharist. What does it mean, Holy Eucharist? So you have a list of questions, right? So number one, what does the word Eucharist mean? Anybody can answer this question? What does the word Holy Eucharist mean? What does it mean? Thanksgiving. The word Eucharist means Thanksgiving. Please turn the, the first slide, please. Yeah. Okay, the word Eucharist strictly means blessing. And this sacrament is also called because it renders us more pleasing to God by the grace it imparts and it gives us the best means of thanking Him for all His blessings. So finally, the word Eucharist means thanksgiving. Are you ready for next question? No, not yet. You can say it if you would not for the whole more answer. The word Eucharist means thanksgiving. That's easy. Now, the second question. What? What is the Holy Eucharist? The Holy Eucharist is the sacrament which contains the body and blood soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ under the appearances of bread and wine. of the second question, right? The Holy Eucharist is the sacrament which includes both what what? Body and blood of who? Of Jesus Christ. Okay? Now, the next one. What do we mean when we say the sacrament which contains the body and blood? What do we mean when we say the sacrament contains the two things, body and blood? So we see the answer. When we say the sacrament which contains the body and blood, we mean the sacrament which is the body and blood. For after consecration, there is no... Number three... There is no other substance present in the Eucharist. What we see on the table, on the, on the, on the altar, we see the two things, host and wine. Before the consecration, when the priest says something, and he blessed the host and wine. And after that, it become the body, and the blood of Christ. And after consecration, there is no more substance of host and wine anymore. But they become the body and blood of Christ. So that we say the sacrament. Now number four, when is the Holy Eucharist a sacrament and when? It is a sacrifice. When we call the sacrament and when it is called the sacrifice, two different things, right? Before consecration, the Holy Eucharist called sacrifice. But after consecration, 
it becomes the body and blood of Christ. So we call the Holy Eucharist after consecration is a sacrament. Right? The Holy Eucharist is a sacrament when we receive it in Holy Communion and when it remains in the tabernacle of the altar. It is a sacrifice when it is offered up at Mass by the separate consecration of the bread and white, which signifies the separation of our Lord blood from his body when he died on the cross. So just, just, just try to remember, before consecration, the Holy Eucharist is called sacrifice. After consecration, the Holy Eucharist is called sacrament. Okay? And the sacrament remained in the tabernacle after Holy Communion. So after we receive Holy Communion, any host left, and then the priest will move that host, it means that the body, to keep Jesus in the tabernacle. And always is sacrament there. So that's why when we go to the church, when we enter the chapel, and we see the tabernacle with the light on, we know that Jesus is present there. So we do something to respect him by reverent, then bow your head, or by genuflecting to respect Jesus in the tabernacle because it becomes the sacrament. Okay, now next one. When did Jesus Christ institute the Holy Eucharist? Jesus Christ instituted the Holy Eucharist at the Last Supper. When the Last Supper? On the Holy Week, every Thursday, on Thursday evening, we celebrate the Last Supper. Mean that the night he, before he died, he established the sacrament of Holy Eucharist. So, who were present there when Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist? Who was there? The twelve disciples. The twelve disciples. The twelve disciples or the twelve apostles. They were there when Jesus Christ instituted the Holy Eucharist. And how? How did Jesus institute the Holy Eucharist? Remember in the night before he he had Jesus had um, a last supper, the last supper with the twelve disciples. And during the supper, he take he took the bread and he said to the disciples, This is my take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body. And then he took the chalice with the wine in there, the cup with the wine there, and he gave to the, 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 the apostle and he said, take this all of you and bring from it. This is my, my, my blood. And finally he said, do this in memory of me. So number, number seven, the back number seven please. So, if the priest say mass, and then he forget to say this thing, do you think the mass is valid? No. If the priest he forget to say these things, the mass will be invalid. The most important to to change the host and why to become body and blood depend on this thing. He says, "This is my body." Take it and eat, it is my body. And he said, he says, this is my blood, bring it. Do this in memory of me. The, the priest must say these words. If he, if he forget during mass, if he forget to say this thing, the mass is invalid. Not become the sacrament. Okay, it's very important. Now, next one. What happened when Jesus said, this is my body and this is my blood? 
When he has said, "It is my body, the substance, substance of the bread," was changed into the substance of his body, and when he said, "It is my blood," the substance of the wine was changed into the substance of his blood. So that's why I said, if the priest forget to say this thing, this is my blood, it is my body, the mass will be invalid. Okay. <coughs> Are you ready to move on? Okay, for a few moments. Now, next one, number nine. How do we prove that the real presence that Jesus is really true in the Holy Eucharist? Three things: by showing that it is possible to change one substance into another. We remember um, the first miracle Jesus did when he appeared in public. Which one? The wedding at Cana. He changed. Water into into white. So for Jesus, he can change something into something. So how do we prove that the real presence that Jesus is the Holy Eucharist? The first thing by showing that it is possible to change one substance into another. The second one by showing that Jesus Christ did change the substance of bread and wine into substance of His body and blood. And the third one, by showing that he gave this power also to his apostles and to the priests of his church. So now, for example, anybody here can say mass. Anybody here? Not me. Don't call me, okay? Anybody here in this um, building, you can say mass, and you can say. Take this, it's, take my body, this is my blood, and the mass is valid? You can do that? Can you do that? No, you cannot. Why? Huh? You have to say to this in memory of me. If you say so, the mass is valid? Why not? You say yes? Oh, okay. Yes or no? Anybody here can say mass? Not me. Don't call me, okay? Uh, of course, I can say mass. I say mass every day. But I ask you, if you can say mass every day, and you can say, this is my body, this is my blood, and do this in memory of me, and the mass will be valid, none of you can do that. None of you. So, how do we prove that the real reason Jesus Christ is the Holy Eucharist? Because He, Jesus gave this power to his apostles and the priests of his church. Whoever are ordained to be priests can say so, okay, and can say mass, but not, not you. Until in the future, some of you here, some boys here, you want to be seminarian and you want to be priest, and the, uh, the church ordained you to be minister, minister, minister to, for the Catholic uh, priest, and you can say mass, okay? But the power for the priest, we receive from the ordination. Now, next one. How do we know that it is possible to change our substance into one another? How? The first thing, God changed water into blood during the place of Egypt. Remember in the Bible, in the book of Exodus, how many places? Tens. Okay? One of them. He changed water into, into blood in the river. Water become red river, blood. The second thing we just say, Jesus Christ changed water into white at the wedding of Canaan. And the last one, our own food is daily changed into the substance of our flesh and blood. And what God does, 
Gradually, he can also do instantly by an act of his will. Okay, now we have reviewed everything we learned from the Holy Eucharist today. Okay, what does it mean Holy Eucharist? What does it mean? Thanksgiving. Easy, right? So how do, how it is called to be sacrament and how it is called sacrifice? How? Jesus gave up his life and to sacrifice himself and he instituted the Holy Eucharist. When did Jesus institute the Holy Eucharist? The last supper before the night he died. Okay? And how? How did Jesus establish the Holy Eucharist? By saying, Take this, all of you, this is my body. And take this, all of you, this is my, my blood. And finally he said, Do this in memory of me. If the priest forget to say this thing, the mass will be valid. Valid or invalid? Invalid, okay? And what have we can learn today from the Holy Eucharist? It's something we need to remember, right? So, when we see the host and wine on the, the altar, before, before the priest consecrates the host and wine to become the blood of Christ, it's still a sacrifice. Okay? But after he says something to, to consecrate the host and wine, they become the body and blood of Christ. So now, the Holy Spirit is holy things. It is very holy thing. When we go to the church to, to, to attend the Holy Eucharist, we need to be holy as well. So that's why from the beginning of Mass, from the beginning of Mass, the church did talk to us and to invite all of us to recognize ourselves we are sinners. And we ask God to forgive us our sins by doing the abcontrition before saying Mass, right? And then before before we receive Holy Communion, again one more time, we ask God to forgive us by saying, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Okay? Very, very holy things. And if we want to receive the Holy Eucharist in a faithful way, we need to be attend in our faithful way as well by recognizing ourselves we are sinners and we ask God to forgive us. Okay? For the Holy Communion, I don't know you know well about that, but for to receive Holy Communion. Now, before I will ask a question, who want to receive Holy Communion today? Raise your hands. When we receive Holy Communion, come up to receive Holy Communion. Jesus, in your mouth, who want to receive today? Okay. So, thank you very much. Just to remind you, in order to receive Holy Communion, we need to fast. How long? One hour. One hour. Fast, okay? So when you go to the church, you go to Mass, you go to Mass, Mass will be at 3 o'clock, right? So the time for Holy Communion around 3.30, okay? You have to fast from 2.30, okay? Fast means to prepare yourself. No eating anything. You can bring water. No problem, okay? You can drink water, no problem. But you eat anything, even gum or snack or nut, whatever eating. Fast yourself one hour before mass, okay? And for for those who want to receive Holy Communion, we have to be in a good state. It means no mortal sins. No mortal sins. For example, I I just went out to the bank. I dropped the bank. Put money in my pocket. Nobody know. And then I go to the church and I receive Holy Communion. Is that good? No. no. If you do that, you commit a mortal sin, another mortal sin. Rob the bank is mortal sin already, right? 
If you know that and you try to intend to receive Holy Communion, you commit another sin, okay? Because you offend Jesus, okay? So in a good state, it means that if we have mortal sins, we need to confess first and then receive Holy Communion later. Anyway, but if you feel that you are not worthy, you are not worthy enough to receive Jesus today, you can come up by crossing your hands and the priest or the minister, the Eucharist minister will give you a blessing, okay? And whenever you feel you are good enough, you are holy enough, and then you receive Holy Communion. Good, okay? So that will be learned today from the Holy Eucharist. And um, anything else to say today?